it's Cassidy and welcome to another technology review video. So today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about the Winbridge Smart Mic Unlimited Audio. So this is a wireless Bluetooth lavalier microphone that you can use to record audio and also video within the Smart Mic app. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how that works and let you know my opinion on it, so stay tuned. Okay, so as you can see, I have the microphone on and I'm using it to record all of the audio that you're hearing right now in this video. So, you can tell what the quality is right off the bat. It sounds pretty good for a wireless microphone. I think it's very clear and easy to understand what I'm saying. Um, and it's not really peaking or anything from what I can tell. So, and I'm screen recording the app as well, but I will show you right here. This is what the application looks like while you're recording. So you can see the sound waves right here. I am only recording audio right now because I am using my camera to do video, but in a little bit, I'm going to also record some video within the app so that the audio syncs automatically. First, I'm gonna go through the instruction manual and tell you a little bit about how this thing works. So, it comes with the mic itself, and it came in this little pouch to keep it nice and protected. Inside was the microphone, and then we have a charging cable since it is wireless. This plugs in to any USB. So on the mic itself, it has the power button on the back, and once you turn it on for the first time, it will show up in your Bluetooth devices on your phone, and you can go ahead and pair it like you would with any other device. I do believe that this only works with Apple products. The back of the box says for use with iPhone, iPad, and iPod. It does have app downloads for the iOS and Google Play Store, so it might work with Android, but I am testing it on an iPhone today. So it will show up in your device list as Smart Mic, pair with it, and then you're good to go. So every time you turn it on, it should pair automatically with the Bluetooth on your phone. Now, the thing about this that might not be ideal for everyone is the fact that you have to use it with the smart mic application so this means that you can't use any other recording software with this mic and you can't record it directly onto your computer or phone it's going to save the audio files within the app and then you will have to download them and upload them to whatever editing software that you're using this could be a little bit of a problem if your workflow isn't typically set up that way. So normally I would use my Snowball mic and then it would automatically record in QuickTime on my computer and then I would put that in iMovie and sync it up. This I will have the audio on my phone and then I will have to download it to my files, make sure that it syncs to my computer and then put it in iMovie. So there's a couple extra steps since you are doing it within the app, but a plus for the application is that you can record video and audio simultaneously within the app if you're using your phone camera. That way the audio will sync automatically and the editing process will be a lot smoother. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this audio recording and I'm gonna show you how it works with the video setting. Okay, so I put it now on the video setting so we're not just recording audio, it's gonna sync it automatically and you're gonna get a couple different angles of me right here talking to you. This is just gonna be the quality of the iPhone camera but it's gonna sync automatically and I know some people like to record videos just with their phone because of the convenience. But if you are using a higher quality camera and you want to sync the audio, you just have to go through those couple extra steps with the app to get you know, what you want. So let's go ahead and read the rest of the manual to see what else we can find. So the usage time is about six hours at full power and it takes about one and a half hours for it to charge. I haven't charged it all the way. It already came off the bat charged, so I didn't have to 
do any extra work there. But I six hours seems generous. I have used um, lavalier mics in the past, a couple wireless ones, and they do not typically last that long. So I think that if you maybe just kept it on sitting there for six hours, it would be okay. But recording audio right now and connecting with the app and having the Bluetooth on for six hours straight, I don't think it's gonna last. I don't have an estimate on that because I've only been recording for a few minutes, but I don't believe that claim um, just because of other mics I've worked with in the past. And I think that they mean six hours on and not really using it but I know from experience the Bluetooth takes a lot of energy out of a device and it's being used it's being active right now so I'm gonna say you might get a couple hours of use six hours does feel generous though so I would caution on that if you're really looking for something that you can use on like an outdoor shoot or for an inner a really long interview or something it might not be a good idea to forget your charging cable and not have a way to charge it in between you know scenes or takes or whatever you're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back to just recording the audio so I can kind of give you my final thoughts. Alright so we are recording just audio again in the app so this is another section that I'm going to have to sync manually in iMovie, which is just going to take a little bit more time. But I do want the camera quality, the iPhone picture quality with the app isn't the absolute highest. I'm sure I could edit it and color correct it and get it a little bit better, but I would rather use my camera. So that's kind of the only thing that I have to say about it. I think the sound quality is really good. I am going to get a ton of use out of this because this is a lot easier for me to set up than the snowball mic, hooking that into my computer and getting the settings right and all of that. This doesn't have any settings really to mess with, which can be good unless you want different settings, then it's a problem. But these kind of mics are typically used in interviews and with one person talking like this. This wouldn't really be a mic that you're using to record a room or a scene if you're doing some kind of narrative filmmaking or anything like that. So, final thoughts. Sound quality is good. The app works well for me, but could be a hurdle that you have to jump over to get everything synced together with your workflow. It might be a little bit difficult. So that's kind of my only gripe with this is that you have to use the app. It does not work any other way. So if you don't have a phone that can run this application or if it doesn't work for you, if you're, you know, if you have a different version of iOS or an older phone, that could be frustrating and this might not be the mic for you. If you do have a phone that runs apps really well and is a little bit newer and fast, this might be a good fit for you. And I will link this mic in the description below so you can check it out if you're in the market for a Bluetooth mic like this. That is another thing that I will say. The fact that there are no wires connected to this makes it super convenient. I could be walking around or doing anything and it wouldn't be a problem because it is connected to me. If you are trying to record multiple people, you would need more than one of these mics, which could get a little bit expensive. It's not a boom mic or anything like that, that you're gonna get a whole room of sound. It's pretty much for one person to use at a time. So make sure you think about that if you're looking into buying a microphone. But overall, I am really happy with this product. I like that it comes with a nice case with the kind of clip on it. So it's really portable, which is super nice. You're not lugging around a ton of huge equipment, which is always great and it hooked up with Bluetooth super easily. That was a great thing about the last Windbridge product I tried, the Bluetooth worked really well. I had no issues with connecting it and getting it to work with my phone. So overall, would I recommend this product? Yes, I would. I am really happy with it and I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. You're probably gonna see it in a lot of videos following this one and 
thanks for watching and thank you Winbridge for sending me this product to try out. I've really enjoyed trying it and reviewing it and gonna get a ton of use out of it. So thank you very much and I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more technology reviews and I will make sure to put some more out in the future. Bye!